So here are a bunch of English facts that you could totally find on Google, told in incredibly mundane ways. For example, wait a second. The original name for butterfly was Flutterby. What the fuck is that? comes from an old English phrase meaning God be with you. To dismantle originally meant to remove a cloak. Bystanders were originally called standard piece. There are seven ways to spell the sound E in English. This sentence contains all of them. We believe Caesar could see people sizing him. Did you know that? The most common use adjective in English is good. And the most common use noun in English is time. Good. Did you know that the proper name for taking your shoes off is called discalciation? Turning down or pretending not to be interested in something that you really want is called axismus. Did you know that the oldest word in the English language is town? But how old is this word actually? It is actually being used back when the guillotine is still legal. But first, if we didn't know the guillotine, it means death by chopping your head. Yes, that's right. And that's why the word town is the oldest word in English language. The next word is LOL. Did you know that the word LOL was added to the Oxford Dictionary? But first, what is LOL? It means laughing out loud, not League of Legends. The word LOL is used as a response to something funny or to follow up a joke. And now, I almost forgot. The word LOL was added to the Oxford Dictionary in 2011. It was added to the Oxford English Dictionary because there are many people who use this word that don't know the meaning of it. And it began when the Facebook and Twitter or other more social media pages are being popular at that time. Hey, want to know some English fun facts? Here's some. Did you know that etymologically, Great Britain means Great Land of the Tattooed? Also, what is known as British accent came to use in and around London around the time of the American Revolution? The phrase, long time no see, is a brief written translation. Found in Native American or Chinese phrase, as it is not grammatically correct. Go! The short is grammatically correct sentence. In English, oh, hello there. Did you know that the US doesn't have an official language? And there are 24 different dialects in the U.S. Pentagon were once called Greek Quangle, a plain figure with the five straight sides and five angle like this. And the hexagon were once called Sexangles, a plain figure with the six straight side and angle like this. Hey, did you know the crutch word such as like? And basically, used to fill in time when speaking. So, we must avoid them and practice more on what you think you should say. And also, if you are writing a poem, do not use the word month, orange, silver, and purple for day. Do not rhyme with any other words. English actually originates from what is now called Northwest Germany and the Netherlands. 
one fourth of the world population speak at least some English. GIF GIF stands for Graphic Interchange Format. According to its inventor, it should be pronounced GIF, not GIF. Using emoji, emoticons, and GIF in a texted conversation instantly signals the difference between sincerity and a joke or sarcasm. Touch pink. That Dutch pink is a yellow lake prepared usually from Persian berries or formed for citron and used chiefly as an artist pigment. The English language contains a lot of contonyms, words that can have contradictory meanings depending on context. Shakespeare invented many words such as birthplace, blushing, undress, torture, and many more. 90% of English texts consist of just 1,000 words, and over 80% of the information stored on computers worldwide is in English. Did you know that many English words changes their meaning over time? For instance, awful meaning awe-inspiring and is a short version for full of awe, whereas nice used to mean silly. Did you know that English is the only major language that doesn't have any organizations guiding it? as opposed to the French Academy Francy, the Spanish Real Academia Española, and German Ratpudotche Reichsribum. These organizations are responsible for controlling the evolutions of their respective languages in terms of usage, vocabulary, and grammar. <laughs> The first English dictionary was written in 1775. 